Hi friends, we have already displayed the real time clock in a web page by using the JavaScript. Now we'll see how we can display by selecting a, any time zone I am selecting and the corresponding date and time with uh, details are displayed. I can change this to another time zone also. Let's say here, now you can see the uh, local time of that particular time zone is displayed. We'll see how to code this. This is our basic template. Inside this, we'll write. So inside, the, we'll create a function flask. So display tj. This is display time zone. So we'll create this function. Inside this, we'll write our code. First, let's create directly take a time zone instead of a user selection. You can write any Africa. Uh, I am just uh, taking one uh, time zone here anything you can take it one from the several list is very big so now I am creating a string or str equal to new date dot uh, to local string to a uh, sorry l o local string this I am creating now I am in this this function I will be using so inside this I am using new nj it's for new zealand you can use any english format you want so then let me just uh, give some options here now inside the option the mo most important part is time zone time zone i am giving the option as here i am writing tz tz is the time zone i have declared the line number nine here so that value will come here so that is there now one more is time zone name there are other list is available we can see time zone name now this I'll give it sort you can give long also sort fine now my string is ready this string I will display it in in my span inside my deep tag or inside a span I'll use it so I'll say document get element by ID now this is city or clock now I'll say inner HTML inner HTML equal to uh, str the, this is the string here now you can see the city is available here here this is I have declared this is a span ID of city time zone here now once this is there uh, this will be displayed in that but think is we need to trigger this uh, this function so for that we will create a input type equal to button value is equal to we will say so now on click this function will execute this function is DISP TZ. So this function will execute and click of the button. So I'm just saving this. So let's go to our browser. See here, refresh it. Yeah, I have. Now this is displaying the time. Now here by the side of it will display the name of the time zone. That is here we'll do it. So we'll say plus. We'll give a comma here. Now again plus now time zone value is we have already given at tz so we'll use that tz so let's save it go here refresh and so so this is the time zone but we'll further extend it and moreover this is every time i click the time is shown you can see the change in time but we want to make it real time change then we'll add the timer now we'll create the function with the timer so We'll say again function display C. Fine, this is what we are even using. So inside that first refresh rate will set it at thousand. It is thousand milliseconds, so it is one second. Now my time. My time is equal to set set time out. Now here we'll uh, dis display tj this is the function what you are using at the top it is there so that function after the gap of say refresh or one second will call it now inside this function again it's a recursive so it inside this again will call the the same function the timer function here so this this here it will call it and this function will call again this loop will continue in every one second so let me save this and uh, go here sorry we'll go to our yeah here let's refresh this so the time zone 
you can see the clock the second day it is clock is ticking because the timer whatever you have used that is calling it after one second now let us from this we'll move instead of a click of a button we'll see that we'll give a drop down list and the user has to select it user has to select the time zone and the respective time zone data or the time will be displayed from this url we'll copy the list of time zones they are kept as a array of uh, javascript array also all the name of the time zones are available as elements we have pasted this uh, array here but we have removed lot of element only three elements we have kept it as sample you can just add those elements after this so let me keep this layer this much okay now let's uh, slightly move this downward because this function we want we will add html part now so this fun this script tag will move it little down control I deleted below the this one I am keeping and above this I will add the our uh, here I will add the drop down list so for that it is a form name equal to f1 this is the form name you post method everything you can add it so now let's close this form now select select name is time zone on change on change equal to our uh, display this function yeah so it is there now we'll use this now in this uh, we'll close the select button the options will dynamically create take it from the from our uh, function now now this is the select box wh where the user will be selecting one of the time zone as a option and on click uh, sorry on change this function will be executed now we'll add the options to this we'll go to our uh, script tag below this now here fine so here what you will do let's first add the uh, we'll create the uh, option to add to that so we'll create a first a function and give the name as add options now here we'll say select variables what you will, will take uh, three attributes select box now text this is the and value so this text and value are the option the drop down box uh, what are the value and the text part what will be displayed in that so what we will take it is now first we'll say where optn of this variable we are taking so object document create element and inside that we'll say option fine now this optn dot text equal to whatever we receive here this text will take it here so and sorry text then value equal to value whatever we receive from here now we'll say value s is not there now we'll say select box this is the select box what you are getting now dot options dot add now so this will add the option now this particular function will call it within a for loop now what the for loop is it is loop through all the elements of that array where it is given as a where to select it i equal to 0 now i is less than my time zone my time zones length length so this is the all the elements then i plus plus fine now let me inside this i will call this uh, add option so i'll say add sorry it is add option yeah it is matching add option now document dot f1 that is a form one tz tz is the drop down list box whatever we have uh, just now user has to select so that we are passing it and the value will be again my time zone my time zones dollar i sorry within this array element so i am taking now again my time zones again i so this is the text and value both should be same so that's uh, all so i am selecting i am passing the within a loop now for me there are only three elements and you, when you copy it you will have more element on that 
select box all these are there now i am saving this let me go here it's already there i'll refresh it it's not showing something is wrong here let me just see what's the error uh document create element is not a function now here ELE I am missed document create element create element saved it yeah now this you can see it is drop down Maggi giving me three options whatever I am selecting I am getting the uh, value of it now let me just change it sorry I, I did one mistake here I have not changed the directly I'm not reading the value here I have, uh, you know we have fixed it here now instead of that we'll comment this line we'll go for picking up the what the user has selected so that is what I will be using now for our uh, as, a, as a time zone value so we'll say f1 sorry f1 dot tj dot options now this is bracket is what is the index of the selected index f1 dot tj dot we are now picking up the what user has selected selected index now that's fine now this value so pj option so whatever option will come that value will be here now let me save this go here refresh this now uh, let me select one yeah it has come now i'll be changing this yeah it is changed so whatever i am uh, this time zone i am selecting the corresponding time it is showing now if you copy all the elements from the side then you will have a bigger list to display